Hello there, welcome. If you're watching this video, then you that means you probably want to know these five simple strategies I'm going to be covering that you can use with video to promote your business locally and increase sales. Uh, so let, if you if you are probably looking for ways to get vis visibility, maybe you've been thinking like, hey, um, I don't know, I've been looking at this thing about video everywhere, right? How can I get started with that? Or it, does it really is it really gonna work for my business? So been asking about those type of those type of questions, right? To get more visibility online for your business fast and make sure that this continue to work for you long term, then you're probably in the in the right spot, right? Now your time is valuable, so if if you have nothing to do with video and to promote your business or advertise your business, then by all means, right, go ahead and uh, um, move on, go to another another video. All right. So with video, I think you probably agree with me that one of the most harder, hardest part about video marketing is, especially in the beginning, uh, and you know, that happens to everybody, even for myself, that um, it's simply getting started, right? That's the hardest part. To get started, and the same applies. Excuse me. The same applies pretty much to anything that we want to do. We don't have a habit, right? Uh, I will say that if, if we don't have a habit to everything, it's just hard to get started. Just like working out, right? <clears throat> it's hard just to get started sometimes. Um, so knowing what kind of videos as well is probably something that. You may be asking yourself, okay, right? I want to do video, but what kind of videos? What would I talk about? What you know? What could be valuable for uh, that I can talk about? Uh, that, but at the same time, I can promote my business. So, with the tips I'm going to be sharing today, I hope you get enough ideas that uh, at least you'll have plenty of new ways to come up with videos for the rest of your days. Now, but who am I first, right? If you are watching this, you came across your YouTube feed or, or Facebook feed or whatever you're watching this, and I interrupted whatever you were watching. Um, you never heard about me before. My name is Leo. I'm here locally in Fairfield, Solano County. If you are watching somebody somewhere else outside of California, um, I don't know, you probably came across this video organically, or organically somehow. But if you are here in uh, the Furphy area, Solano County area, you know, um, I do work with small business owners that are being wanted to take their business online to get to get found by by more customers, right? Perhaps you have been doing uh, traditional marketing promotions like print media, flyers, uh, magazines, newspaper, radio, but you've been lately probably looking at how your customers interact all the time their phone they stay steady and even if they stop for a few seconds because i'm guilty of that as well right um i'm um, there you see them on their phone so you're probably thinking about yourself huh there's um attention that i'm losing there that uh, that i'm losing there right um i could my business could get in front of those people that are on their phone all the all the time uh, so if you Again, I've been wanting to uh, get online to capture that real estate from people on the phone. Let's go ahead and talk. My website is digitaltrack.co, or you can just text me or call me 707-410-0307. Let's go ahead and schedule a call to see if uh, we can come up with a strategy for your business uh, to get you found by, my, by more customers online. And at the end, if you stay at the end of this video, I got a special bonus for you. So why should you be creating videos for your business or why you should be making it, right? Leo, why, why do I need video, um, right? I'm, this is a, a brick and mortar place. Why, why do I need that? Uh, well, you probably see it everywhere on TV. There's uh, uh, is that, is video basically. Um, people absolutely love video uh, throughout, and not just video, but video company with a story. What are TV shows in, that we see right? The TV shows that we see and that we're hooked on is basically stories in video format. Uh, before, it used to be print, video, print, sto print stories like uh, comics or uh, books, uh, you know, that, that were uh, 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 
drama books, or, right? And then became, of course, and then uh, obviously radio came about, and the same thing, it was stories, right? And then obviously movies when they first came out. So um, nowadays, obviously, uh, videos and stories combined, you can simply nor, not ignore it. People are continuously seeking for uh, video out there. Now, in fact, it's already close to accounting 80% of all online traffic video, which means that if you're not using video, you're left only with 20% of the traffic that is left over, um, more likely, right, your older generation. So what are you doing in your business to attract the newer generation? That older generation eventually will completely disappear, uh, That which means your business probably is going, is going that route if you're not... Um, innovating in your business. Since you're serious about your business, you certainly don't want to do that to get just the leftovers, right? Like I mentioned, if you get just the leftovers, that means that you are going to add, uh, you are targeting a demographic that is probably disappearing pretty soon. Um, here, I got another uh, source, another fact that internet video will account for 80% of consumer internet traffic by 2020. So as you can see, this number is going up. The, the traffic that video is it's um, uh, responsible for. So what what does that mean that any other type of traffic is, is probably more likely going to go down, right? Any other source of traffic. So again probably should be investing a little to get it started uh, invest investing a little bit on your on video side obviously you don't have to redirect all of your um sources of marketing to video because perhaps you already have stuff in place that are already working for you but it's always good to start exploring some other areas especially if you start seeing your numbers go down so do you know that youtube is the second largest search engine online uh, getting videos ranked can bring leads and customers for years and years to, call, to come. Uh, and since Google owns YouTube, they naturally will rank YouTube videos uh, higher in the search results, which is obviously a nice one-two punch for your uh, business, especially locally. Uh, plus, according to a September 2017 article on Forbes.com, uh, video on social media gets more than 1,200% more shares than any other media, including images and text. So the bottom line here and this is people will love and devour online videos, so you should be giving them exactly what they want, right? I'm sure that if you um, are in, in still in business up to that point and this so many years because obviously um, you are giving people something that they want, right? You are either solving problems, you have the solutions to the problems and have been continued to solve the problems, otherwise you'll be going out of business, I'm sure. Um, so how do this video marketing tips will help you grow your business? Of course, what you want to know is okay, well, how this will help me in the video. You already talked to me about video, right? That's great. You already even showed me some fact that video traffic is increasing, uh, but you know, uh, how will this help me in my business? So whether you sell potions, um, frogs, shoes, food, I don't know, whatever it is that you sell, video marketing is the perfect medium for building your brand, generating leads, building trust and credibility, and therefore getting more sales. In other words, there's really no downside, right? There's, uh, according to HubSpot, which is a company that... Um, um, is to help small businesses with marketing and sales. It also has a custom relationship um, manager's tool in, built into it where you can put all your database. Um, so according to HubSpot, after watching a video, 64% of users are more likely to buy uh, products online, but not only online, offline as well, right? So uh, that's 64% as well of users are more likely to get exposure for the first time of your business. I don't know how many times I, I scroll into my uh, news feed on Instagram, and obviously Instagram is a, um, um, a picture-rich type of platform content, right? So uh, the pictures in there are amazing that you see there for um, new things, events that may be going on, uh, 
beautiful places around my area because you can do searches around your area. Um, food of local of people that people post or even restaurants, uh, uh, pastries and all that that people post uh, locally. And so you don't know how many times I've been scrolling to my bits through my news feeds on, on Instagram and seeing pictures of local restaurants and immediately create a desire on me like, OK, I got to try that place. Right. So that first initial contact exposure of that business came about uh, online. They all have an online presence. Right. Um, so let's get started showing what type of video you can start creating uh, that are already proven by top marketers to work like crazy. Um, so five videos, marketing tips to start growing your business now. Right now, your biggest problem is likely knowing what kind of videos you can create. That's common struggle. Don't worry about it. But new and experienced video marketers. Uh, will struggle through with the same. So do not, you're not alone in that situation. The video tips below will show you which are the best type of videos to create to, to grow your business. And we'll also show you um, how to get the most out of each video you create. So tip number one is review videos. They are basically this type of videos that you just go on, talk about um, and stuff that you try or had before, right? So for example, products that you, that you, that you bought and try and test it. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen, you probably gone online or YouTube to find reviews about specific uh, a product that you've been thinking of buying. And probably you go and see a few res uh, results in it and look at some of those. Uh, some of those people make money by obviously uh, companies will, they probably have a, a big following and companies will pay you to get to try their product and give an honest review. Right. So that's a way to um, make money, promote your promote uh, videos. Well, but in, in your business situation, it depends what you do, I guess, on a uh, let's say HVAC service. Right. You probably are reviewing different type of uh, new technology that comes up with uh, um, in the HVAC service industry, like uh, something that is very popular coming up is a different type of thermostat. Right. They Make it so nice and fancy nowadays. They have so many features. So you probably are the type of guy that likes to play with those type of things, right? With the new technology that is involved with the thermal task. And you probably come online and talk about the different nuances about different thermostats that are coming up or different um, brands or HVAC uh, air conditioner types, right? For homes. So those are the type of review videos that you could perhaps think about uh, that could work for your business. Obviously, this doesn't apply for every type of business, right? But you can always search online what others are doing or innovate. Um, now, tip number two is build authority with training videos. So how to videos are really, really extremely popular and helpful. Um, like I say, I don't know how many times I, I know I do this all the time. Whenever I don't know how to do something, I go on YouTube and typing how to do something specifically. And sure enough, I will find a result for that thing that I'm trying to solve or or uh, find a video that talks about the process of going about uh, <clears throat> doing something that I need to do. Like, um, you know, the other day, perhaps I, w I had some maintenance to do on my car and I was just searching online, okay, how to, do, how to fix the specifics issue that I have in my car and this is the brand the, the motto um, of the car the year and sure enough right the, there was a couple of results that came in that came up um, in, or, in order for me to guide me on how to do something so that right there puts that person in as an authority obviously <clears throat> there's not obviously there's it doesn't end there right um, but it definitely if 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 you imagine if you're doing the same for your local audience and you pretty much the only one doing that, um, then obviously people are going to um, see you as the expert, right? And in, in the specific area here is Orlando County, for example, or Fairfield, Vacaville, the different cities. So those how to videos will definitely build authority. You'll be the to go person. Um, People will look up to you and they will remember you next time they have that issue. If they don't want to work on it themselves, you'll be the person that they go to. 
Now, if you probably feel like you don't know enough to teach others, uh, this is a common obstacle that people face. I know I face it all the time, right? But yeah, this is a simple fix. What have you recently learned? And if you haven't learned anything else recently in your business, then you probably have other issues that you should be worried about. Like your business is then going up, it's going down because you not continue to innovate in it, right? So what have you recently learned? What story can you think of, like, of that you have with the recent customers, right? The issue that uh, your product or server was able to solve for that customer, how you help them, uh, what questions do they usually ask, right? Come up with a list of uh, or frequently asked questions. I'm sure you probably will come up with a long list, especially if you've been doing it for three, five years, at least. If you're doing it more, <laughs> that list is probably long and people are, uh, they're searching for uh, those questions. Uh, never discount the fact that what you know, even if you just learned it yesterday, it's something that many of your target audience don't know yet. In fact, there are many people who are dying to have someone teach them, teach them, and there are people that pay big money for to have somebody teach them and lead them to the path of how to get to the point where they no longer have this issue, right? So that person might as well be you, especially if it's for local customers. Simple create videos that teach the strategy you just learned and use stories to provide examples. Now, something else I want to touch base. I was reading, reading yesterday or watching a video about um, a big, big entrepreneur called Jay, Jay Summit, right? And in the interview that he was having, he was talking about this same thing, right? Of uh, If you make a list of enough problems to solve, you're gonna make money if you are able to enough to to solve a problem of of many people. You're gonna make money, right? Uh, obviously, uh, you only need to capture a small percentage of of uh, uh, the target market. Like for for example, in Fairfield, we have let's say a population of 150,000 people, right? If you only capture 10 percent, uh, if you only solve the problem of 10 percent. And obviously, based on your uh, price ranges of the people over here, uh, you're talking about 10,000 people, and each 10,000 people paying you, um, I don't know, $1,000 for your product, $500 for your service or product, right? It, it all adds up. Um, so, and what I was going with it, what J Jay Summit was saying is that when you're talking about this how to, or it's not about, um, just if you're gonna make a video about just uh, um, how to drill a hole or what or what drill bit to get, it, it's not gonna be about um, the pr the solution. is not gonna be okay. Go get this this drill bit, right? Somebody goes to the store because they have the need to make a hole, but just don't make a hole, right? The the end purpose of making a hole is to perhaps you know, I don't know, hang pictures of your grandma or mother or dad or or hang something that you're building or, you know, I don't know. Something is the ultimate uh, uh, product of drilling the hole. So you go into the store not just to get the drill, but it's because you want holes. But more than that, it's because you want hole to be able to um, be able to put a nail in it or start or something to be able to hang something or um, I'm looking around like to coming up trying to come up with stuff but I hope that makes sense to you right uh, make those videos not just how to but think about the go even deeper than that the why will somebody will do that right um, so tip number three is host webinars um, so Webinars are basically online seminars, right? A term seminar, depending on your age, a seminar is where a bunch of people will go and somebody would, an expert will talk, right? For a specific topic that people wants to learn more about to solve a specific issue, I don't know, or to get to a specific outcome. And then at the end, usually there's sales. Uh, and the same thing is it's online, right? It's called a webinar. It's like a seminar, somebody, there's an expert talking about a specific topic that you want to learn more about to 
uh, solve a problem or, or something like that. And then toward this webinar, they may sell you something and or at the end, they may sell you something. So if you have a, a formula down where you can actually move people to buy something towards the end, um, <clears throat> When you go and do your offer after providing enough value in it, that's another great way for you to either expose your business, right? Uh, you can either have a goal to have people to um, call you towards the end of the seminar. So you can have a training session or, or a strategy session where you can actually learn more about the business and see if you can uh, help them out. Or you can have sales at the end of the business, right? There's so many goals that you can have at the end. So tip number four is shoot quick videos. They're easy reality videos on the fly that let your prospect peek into your world. So um, nowadays we have it so easy with technology, right? Reality videos are on the greatest and easiest way to bring prospects into your world. Why? Because I just simply pull my camera and I can either go live on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn. I don't know if they have live videos yet. I got to check on that. Facebook, of course, right? So... Or you, or you don't even need to do that, right? You can just record yourself offline, talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about that day. That can You can even bring value or talk about something that your audience will feel attached to um, or a topic that is popular in your, in your county or city. And just ramble of things that you like, right? Uh, just think about the Kardashians. They're, that's reality TV. I was reading somewhere that the estimated worth of uh, Kardashians, I think this is Life and Style magazine that came up with this um, estimate, is they say this 150 million. That's just the uh, Kim Kardashians in can I, no, just, that's just Kim Kardashians. Now, if I imagine all of the Kardashians combined, the, what the empires, they all both, they all support each other. So even if you love it or hate them, they still know what they do. Um, there's a lot that we can learn from the strategies that they, that they do. Uh, when it comes to social media um so again you're right um reality videos they're easy to shoot and people love them just again just think about the kardashians and so many other reality shows that come up nowadays um let's see so tip number five is promote your vi your videos right this is the most important tip whatever type of video you're creating you must promote 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 uh, you must get eyeballs and the content that you're creating. Don't fall into the myth that if you just create a whole oh, magically videos are going to go ahead um, and yeah, start attracting customers to me. No, it doesn't happen that way, right? In fact, that is only the first step for you to make the video, put it out there. Now you got to obviously somehow get customers pumping from that. Um, the bottom line is that if you're not getting video views on your video, it's likely because you're not promoting them enough. It is a huge mistake that people are doing. Some... Ideas could be, right, if you have a list, blast them with the email. If you have a, um, um, if you're using chatbots, uh, right through Facebook, um, send him a message saying, hey, I got this new video. Do you want to check it out? And then send them the link if they say yes. Um, promote your videos through social media, right? There's so many social medias that you can actually sh share to uh, some other a website like Twitter, for example, LinkedIn or Facebook, although obviously um, they don't get the same exposure, um, it's, you still get um, be able to link out to to other website to your website if you have your video there, or to YouTube, for example, or or even your Facebook page if you have your video there. Um, build your YouTube subscriber, right? Make sure that anybody every time you pull a video. Uh, you are guiding people and telling them, okay, if you got enough value, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the little bell to make sure that you get a notification whenever there's a new video uploaded. If you are on Facebook, make sure to like this video. Make sure to comment if you have any questions or provide feedback, write constructive feedback, or share it if you know somebody that may find it helpful. At the same time, you may tell them, okay, you also may want to, if you like to continue stay in, uh, notified of new videos that come up in my page make sure to uh, go to the likes where you like the page and and um, get the uh, option to see it first something like that right so that if you if they if you do something like that the people will 
if they select the first, whenever they are scrolling to their news feed, they will see your page. Even though you're not paying, you're not paying, you're not promoting, you're not advertising, this is a great way to organically get people to see your feeds on your page, even though it's not a page. So nowadays, obviously, if people are not doing that to select the see first for your page, there's a let way, there's a great chance that they don't see the post on your page. Why? Because Facebook is a business. They, they make the revenue from advertising. So they want people businesses and entrepreneurs that are creating that have business pages they want to make sure they spend they put money into their page into the pages and so they they will have you um so they're they're obviously are gonna they do they do that way they ensure that you get to spend more money by making sure they cut some of the organic uh way some of the your post to get seen by people without you paying so again one way to get your facebook followers on your page to get to see your content even if you're not paying for to get put in front of them is to select the uh see first option i can show you here let's see if i can pull it up um let's see facebook Neo M. Callejas. Okay. So if I'm here, um, you see here, if you tell people to go to this following option, uh, you can see here where it says see first, right? You might you want to guide people to tell them see first. By the way, if you're watching this video, I'm asking you that you please, if you like my content, to go to my Facebook business page and select see first. Now on YouTube, you can go to YouTube and let's say I'm watching this, right? And I wanna get subscriber, you are, you're gonna tell people, okay, hit the subscribe button right here and hit the little bell so that whenever um, there's a new video that you may come up with, the pe people will get notified. And, I, and same goes for me. If you like my content, you're watching this on Facebook, or on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, leave comments if you uh, have any questions, hit the little bell if you wanna get notified whenever there's a new video that I that I will upload on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> now, the, for last, for those of you that stay here, congratulations up to this point, because I have a special bonus. Uh, the fastest and easiest way to get eyeballs to your videos are paid advertising. There's nothing easier to do with that with Facebook, um, Instagram, well, Instagram, you have a limitation on the time. Twitter, you have a limitation on the time as well. Um, but Facebook and YouTube, there's nothing easier than just putting up videos there and something affordable than putting up the promoting videos that you may have going on. Uh, those platforms, you can, tar you can start with as small as a dollar a day on YouTube, for example. Uh, I can go to, you go to through AdWords, that's how you um, can promote your YouTube videos, right? Because Google owns um, YouTube, you can definitely do that. And so through here, through AdWords, you connect your YouTube video, and I don't have a lot of time to go through that in this video, but I just kinda wanna talk to you about it as, as, an, as a bonus, right? If you, can, if you create your AdWords account, you connect it to your YouTube video, that's how you're gonna be able to promote videos that you may have, and all you have to do is choose the amount of money. So if you can see here, I have 351 impressions, and that only cost me 44 cents so far in the last seven days. Um, this month, let's see this month, See, 2,000 impressions, and I have, that only has been costing me uh, $13. Now, it doesn't mean that that came in just from video, right? There's some video that is in there, and some other ones that is display. Uh, but you can go as long, you can set a specific amount to have people watch your video for as small as one cent, right? It's a bit strategy that you can do that you can tell Google AdWords. I'm, I'm, only, um, I'm only able to bid one cent. How many people can you show my video to for one cent? Obviously, you can put that up a little bit more, but they are really cheap uh, it, it, to get some views on, on, on YouTube. So that was a bonus. Now, if you are, again, needing help in 
uh, getting some online exposure for your business, go ahead and visit my site, digitaltrack.co, or call me or or text me and, and say, hey, Leo, I want to take on, the, on your offer that you mentioned on your video about 30-minute uh, strategies that where you're going to help me um, <clears throat> Well, you're gonna help me find the. You're gonna help me um, with the sites where I should be putting my business on, or where I should be listing my business to get uh, more exposure that way. Which is in a simple way to basically have <clears throat> your business uh, mentioned in so many other popular websites, right? And at the same time, bring get. Be, be able to have more customers find you that that way, um, but also it's free. Most of these other sites, right? Um, what I would be doing with you is basically going to a thirty minutes free strategy sessions and going over, okay, what's your business type, right? And if, according to your business industry, if you're a restaurant, you should be posting on this and this and this 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 site. If you need assistance, I can work with you on that because it's it's a lot of work. It, it, it takes some time to be listening on each of these sites, make, making sure they are accurate, or making sure you go through the process to even uh, um, confirming that you are the business owner of that you own that business. And again, this is a free way to get more exposure. Like Yelp, how many people goes on Yelp if you are a restaurant owner and and search for local businesses? How many people go on Google for to find a specific business if your business is not listed there or listed properly? You're gonna be losing customers, right? Um, other things that we should be doing is making sure that if you are on all these other sites, your business is listed like on Angie's List, Yelp, uh, Google Local, or Google My Business, or Yahoo Local, Bing Local, Bing, Bing Business. I can't remember the name. If you're not listing on those sites, you miss an opportunity. If you don't have those, uh, all those, uh, your businesses listed, listed. Uh, uh, matching in all of the different sites, you're going to be losing business, right? So again, um, if you think that's valuable to you, this, it's going to be free, not cost to you. Then let's go. Let's go ahead and talk. Even if you want to um, get some help in it, but you don't have time, let's go ahead and, and talk as well about that, right? Um, now, what's the catch? You may be asking yourself. Of course, nothing is freely. Or what's the catch? Well, uh, at least give me the chance to tell you at the end what my offer could be. If, if, if I think it's going to be a good fit between the two of us, I will, I will then ask if you'd be interested to ask. If not, no problem, right? Um, I have packages starting from uh, 150 to get set up um, and then to $50 a month. And but we, we can go over more of that or what the starting packages will, will do for you. All right, so if you like this video, um, again, go ahead and subscribe like, share it, and I hope you have some value. Talk to you later. Bye.